The immune response is usually activated when a pathogen enters the body. In this picture, you can see it entering the body through the mouth of the guy. An antigen presenting macrophage interacts with the T helper cell that can recognize the same antigen. During the interaction, the T helper cells uh, secrete interleukin 2, which causes the proliferation of certain cytotoxic T cells and B cells. Um, the B cell has a membrane band LGM receptor, which is specific to the engulfed antigen. Uh, the LGM receptor binds to the antigen, and this allows the cell to engulf the complex by receptor-mediated endocytosis. Um, in internalized vesicle fuses with the lysosome, uh, which is then releases enzymes that digest the antigen, uh, processing it into fragments. The process antigen then attach, attaches to the class 2 MHC molecule and is displayed on the surface of the B cell. A T cell from the clone of the cells now binds to the antigen displayed by the B cell. Upon binding to the B cell, the T cell releases cytokines that stimulate uh, the B cell to divide and create clones. These clones can either become memory cells or antibody secreting plasma cells. Antibodies are then able to bind to the antigens and inactivate them. Humoral immunity is the aspect of immunity that is mediated by macromolecules found in extracellular fluids such as secreted antibodies, complement proteins, and certain antimicrobial peptides. Humoral immunity is so named because it involves substances found in the humors, or body fluids, and is the one that uses B cells. Humoral immunity uh, consists of the B cells and the antibodies they produce. Uh, the body also uses cell-mediated immunity uh, as an immune response that uses T cells and does not involve antibodies, but rather involves the activation of phagocytes, antigen-specific cytotoxics, T lymphocytes, and the release of various cytokines in response to an antigen. The cytotoxic T cells that are capable of recognizing the antigen displayed on the surfaces of infected cells bind to the infected cells and produce chemicals that kill the infected cell. Death of the infected cells results in the destruction of the pathogen.